Hello and welcome to another vlog. I hope you're ready to hang out for the next 48 hours while I make semi-questionable decisions. So it's almost 10 o'clock and newsflash, I have way too much energy. I slept for 11 hours last night for the first time in forever and I feel amazing. Tonight I cleaned the bathroom. I cleaned my desk and I cleaned the kitchen. All right, this is my plan of attack for the evening. I'm basically gonna work on this until I have a very strong desire to pass out. So normally I am not up this late, this is very excessive. As I mentioned earlier, I was just feeling very energized, so I thought I might as well take advantage of it, pump my way through some Ankies, and hopefully get a little bit of studying in. Good morning, it is Friday and we are heading to school. Alrighty, so it is 1.30 p.m. The morning consisted of CBL and lectures and over the past hour and a half, I've been working on my flex project plan. I booked flights for 15 medical students for an event and I also arranged to get pig's feet because I'm trying to organize a hands-on suture night for my fellow medical students. So hopefully all that works out. It's a little stressful when you're like, hey, we're gonna try and do this thing. And then like all of a sudden you have responsibilities. So hopefully that all works out. I'm gonna head to the store. Um, I'm hoping to get some cheese because myself and some medical school friends are getting together tonight and we're going to try and make something called spatzel, spatzel. I don't know how to say it. I think it's German. Basically it is called spatzel something and it's literally just pasta carbs and cheese. Essentially fancy homemade macaroni, craft dinner, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, yeah, that should be fun. I've made an executive decision to go to Winners. Completely unnecessary, but you know, your girl wants to go shopping. I'm sure I can find something that I need. Anyways, yes, this is how I spend my afternoons off when I'm supposed to be studying. All right, so back home, technically I didn't buy anything that I straight up don't need. Everything is kind of a necessity. Bought some bed lamps, bought a dish drying rack, bought some cheese for tonight's pasta night, bought a whiteboard for my studying and some light bulbs for the lamps. So yeah, I don't think it was like too crazy of a shopping rampage. And anyways, I'm gonna go inside put that stuff away and then hopefully start studying. Nice, I like these lights. Hello, new dish rack. Mm. All right, so I'm set up at my little desk here and basically the game plan is to make some Anki cards because I'm very behind on that and basically do that until it's time for dinner. Also, check out my new whiteboard. Ooh, ah. So I got a little sidetrack and I've been listening to Louis Capaldi. I really like his music, but it's also like depressing as heck. Like when you listen to the words he's saying, you're like, dang. Anyways, uh, back to work. All right, so it is 5.30. The pasta making stuff will begin around six. So I'm gonna get ready and close the books head out and just have a fun Friday night. All right, so I'm home from the pasta making night. It was quite a challenge. So spatula, I guess you're supposed to be able to push it through a colander so it forms noodles. That did not work for us. I think maybe the dough was like over stirred so it got like too glutinous and sticky. This is a dough. <laughs> so 
So we tried putting it in a bag, squeezing it out. Oh, it's being born! <laughs> that took way too long, the bag broke, didn't work. So in the end, Kevin came to the rescue and he basically like, it's kind of hard to describe, but he made the dough more watery and poured it out of a bowl and as it was pouring, he just cut it really quickly so then you get like noodly looking things. It was delicious, so my soul and my stomach is full, and yeah, I would highly recommend just finishing the week with something fun. Tomorrow I'm waking up early because I have to go to the hospital because we have an OR scrub lesson session. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is 7.45 in the morning. I'm heading to the hospital because today we are going to be learning how to scrub into the OR. I arrive at the operating room. The tools have been laid out in a pristine and organized manner, not a single thing out of place. With the procedure ready to begin, I put on my face mask, not to be confused with some paper towel that I taped to my face. Once I was gloved and gowned, I was ready for business. The patient had been anesthetized and intubated, and so a very complicated and complex procedure ensued. After many hours of hard work, the patient finally awoke. Satisfied with our hard work and the patient's well-being, we removed our gown, gloves, and unscrubbed. Okay, so maybe that didn't happen and we just learned how to wash our hands properly, select the correct size of gloves, and put on a gown. Alright, so it's 2pm. I just spent the last two hours editing the vlog up until this point and filming that very exciting series of me pretending to do surgery on a kidney. I only have half an hour until I have to leave for a soccer game this afternoon. So I think I'm just going to power through some Anki and just get as far as I can. Just finished the first game of the year. It was a lot of fun. I'm really glad I signed up. Now I'm gonna go fill up with some gas and buy some groceries. So mild change of plans. Ended up going to Carl's Jr. and having chicken strips for dinner. <sighs> Don't judge me. Comment a light bulb down below if you made it this far in the video. <laughs> Well, it's officially 48 hours since the vlog started. Thank you for spending the last 48 hours with me. I hope that this was a fairly accurate vlog and gave you like a good idea of what the everyday life is like in medical school. Um, I do study a lot, I do have a lot of school, but I also have a lot of time for other fun things. So if you're thinking about medical school but you're kind of on the fence because you're scared you're not going to have a life outside of medicine, just know that there's time to do other things like hang out with friends or play some sports as I demonstrated over the past two days. Um, yeah, speaking of things that are not med school related, it is 10 p.m. and at midnight tonight I have two assignments due for my other course, so I'm gonna end the video here and get going on those. Um, and as I mentioned before, if you made it this far, please comment a light bulb in the comments down below. And also I realized, because someone very kindly commented on my previous video, that I forgot to do this. So if you went and watched my Q&A video, I would love it if you went there and went in the comment section and answered a question that I have for you, which is, what is your favorite slash go-to emoji? Whatever it is, just comment it with no explanation in the Q&A video, and maybe I'll discover a new favorite emoji. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.